Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Believe it or not, now the fall is here yeah. and the holidays are right around the corner and that means holiday travel. Our resident travel expert, Davey Sutton, is back yes. with some great tips on getting the best family deals. Welcome, Davey. How Hi, are Davey. you? How are you, dear? I'm well, thank you. <laughs> well, we're just going to jump right in. The holidays are coming up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about family travel. Mm. You know, it gets kind of expensive, especially when most families, families are families of four right? and plus. So what can we do to save money in those areas? The most expensive part of your travel is the flight. So if you can find a discount on that at the bargain, then you, the half the battle is over. Mm. So what I like to tell families to do is once you know your destination, mm -hmm. track that fare. Mm -hmm. And you can do that with Google Flights is a, a quick tool to do that because when you track that fare, they'll email you the, when the prices go up and down. And then when it drops to a price that you like, pounce on it, book your fare, and then there's your bargain. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So the strategy when you have a particular budget, but you are flexible, mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I can go anywhere. I just need to get anywhere. Right. In fact, I need to go somewhere. Right. Yeah. I'm with you. You know? Exactly. So what, yeah. do, what do you do? What's the strategy I, with that? You know what? We're all working on a budget, and the budgets can be small, and they can be big. But when you're flexible, the whole world can open up to you. And my favorite tool for that is using Momondo. The reason Ooh. is because you can put in the destination everywhere. So once you put in everywhere, so we're, you might be departing out of Atlanta, you put destination everywhere, the map of the world will open up, and it will mm. show you what's on sale. Mm -hmm. So last night... I looked trips from Atlanta to Barcelona, round trip under $500. Really? To Italy, $600. And those fares are usually eight to $900 round trip. Quick yes. question, mm -hmm. do you have to travel within a certain time period? You could, so the other thing is the more flexible you are, the better the prices. Um, so you, even if you're flexible on your dates. So it, you can, if you're flexible on your dates, you yes. can pull up um, the calendar mm -hmm. and you can see, well, I think I do want to go to Italy and maybe I can beat that 500 price right now. And you can look up to, I think it's about six months ahead oh, okay. and you can nice. see what they guess on what the prices might be and book your fares that way. Oh, that's oh wow. Amazing. Yes. That's so if I wanted to go to Italy, um, this weekend yeah then that ticket was under 500 yes that's what oh, i looked wow. up well i looked up for um october but okay. you oh, but okay. you, it okay. still works if you want to do a last minute deal you yeah. put destination everywhere and you were like i want to get out now you'll the map of the world will come up and you can see what's in your budget and then you know that that's where you go and yeah. so the more flexible you are that opens up the whole world yeah, to you because you can end up someplace you never knew that you wanted to go yeah, right it's almost right. like book now and plan later yeah. exactly yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's the way cool. to travel right yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's you know, where the adventure is yes, yes definitely well what about people who are afraid of flying or people that just have too many people right and they just can't afford you know five people and six people so what what is a better alternative road trip <laughs> <laughs> so you can take a road trip that's so easy. Just hop in your car and then mm -hmm. take the adventure, go anywhere, end up someplace else. But also consider the train. So mm -hmm. Amtrak has great routes up down, up and down the east west, and west coast, through the Midwest and in the south. And then for people with really slim budgets, consider the bus. I know the bus but the mega bus <laughs> if you plan on the mega bus you can Girl, get you, you <laughs> yeah. just a little bit just a little bit but that's for bu different budgets right because on the mega bus what i was going to mention is that if you plan in ahead you can get a fare for one dollar so that takes out the transportation out of the picture what about a dollar. the fees attached with that i mean because it does say like one dollar plus it's, fees it's, like how, how much you are we can talking get, about no i know people families? so that's with planning so you last minute trips i think you can both like the, the prices prices vary depending on your route mm -hmm. but if you plan you know we want to go everyone wants to go somewhere for Christmas you can look ahead and they may have a fee a, a trip for one dollar and, mm -hmm. and you can book it wow, oh, wow that's amazing so so what do we do once we re reach our fabulous destinations what do we do to save while on the trip because often you say okay I have this budget mm -hmm. this is what I'm gonna spend yes. And some kind of way, I don't know how it happens, you go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you end up going over the budget. Like food and eating yeah. out and gas yeah. and all these types Everything. of things. You can go to places where the attractions are free. So then the mm -hmm. only part of your travel budget is the travel, the lodging, and the food. And then if you have a shopping budget. But if you go to places like Washington, D.C., the Nash, all the Smithsonian museums, mm, the national monuments, yes. the zoo. Mm, so for yeah. families, the national zoo is free there. St. Louis, 
They have a place called Forest Park. Yes. The zoo is there as well, mm -hmm. and the zoo is free. They mm -hmm. also have a science museum, an art museum, and all, even places like Niagara Falls, which wow. I was there last week. The state park is free. Yeah. Now the excursions like Cave of the Winds or Made of the Mist, you're going to have to pay for those, mm -hmm. but you can enter the state park for free and get right up to the waterfall. Yeah, and get a little bit of culture. Yes, right? yes, yes. Okay. Sense. But let's talk about Thanksgiving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huge travel day. Yes. So what tips do you have to save just a little bit of money for Thanksgiving? Because we all know the food is expensive. <laughs> right. Having to see your family, I mean, hotels mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. So tell us about some money-saving tips there. So you, you want to book your flight for Thanksgiving. This is the booking window now. Mm -hmm. Bef and any all any time before November 1st. Once you get to November 1st, then the prices start to surge. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you to plan right now. If you know where you're going to go for Thanksgiving, look for the prices right now. Now, if you've missed that window, which you shouldn't because I'm telling you to book right now, <laughs> but if you miss that window, you can fly on the exact holiday day. Oh. So you can fly out on Thanksgiving and it works for all the holidays on Christmas, on the 4th of July, on New Year's. Mm -hmm. The reason is because nobody wants to fly on, on, on those yeah. days. Yeah, so true. the prices are likely deeply discounted. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Davy. We really do appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. Listen, these were great tips to get us started. I'm telling you, get us ready for the upcoming holiday season. You can catch Davy's travel show beyond the usual on Amazon Prime video channels. Yeah.